Hey there Dev Squad Furtis here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 Mech Combat tutorial series. Within today's video, we're going to be doing a quick collision fix for our Suicide Explosive bot. What you will notice is with the Unreal Engine updates, if you try and run up to your turret bot, and hit it, you are going to be able to damage it just fine. However, if you try to do the same with the explosive bot, it is just not going to do that collision hit that you're after. So what we're going to be doing is simply rewriting some of the code so that it is going to work and your game is going to play exactly how you expect it to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine 4. So first things first, you want to open up your spider underscore bomb blueprint because the issue is within here. Now essentially what is happening is we have this sphere collision volume. Now what is happening when we are trying to hit this, this collision volume is essentially taking up that hit and it's not going to create any more overlap events. So all we're going to do is simply delete that collision volume that we've got. We're going to go into our event graph and we are going to find our code for actually checking to see whether or not it should damage the player when it explodes. And what we're going to do is instead of checking to see if the player is in the radius, what we're going to do is cast to the third person character instead. And then what we're going to do as the third person character is we are simply just going to get the distance to that instead. So what we're doing really is just simplifying our code and removing this collision volume so the rest of our code is going to work just fine. So what we're going to do is find this code here. So on pawn sensing, after they get to the location of the player successfully and it tries to explode, what we're going to do is cast to this third person character. We are then going to take the rest of our code. We're going to move this along to make it nice and clean. As third person character, what we're going to do is simply get the distance to. And the target is going to be itself and then the other actor is going to be our third person character and then what we're doing with the return value which is a float a numerical value we're just going to do float less than float and what this is going to give us is a boolean return value so here we can check to see if they're within a certain distance and if it is we're going to tell it to damage the player and we've already got code for that so all we're going to do is change the boolean from our branch condition over here from player within radius to this instead and then we're just going to join it up and leave it in the code just like that what we're also going to do is our overlap events for the sphere that we have now deleted. We are just going to remove this. Once we've done that, go ahead and hit compile. If you get any errors, it should simply be telling us to get the player character object reference down here. Hit compile, hit play, and then we can jump in and we can test this. So we have got a very willing explosive bot over there. And as you saw there, I can then go and hit it with my hammer and I can fight through the waves in just the way that we want it to. So that is pretty much everything that I wanted to cover in this video. It is just a quick fix video for this. I hope you have enjoyed it and throughout the rest of the series we are going to be moving on to creating some menus and alike. That is everything for now. As usual guys, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.